All right, gang, I tweaked my if program a little bit to have a cutoff switch. So again, we've got all of our sensor setups up top, all of our motor setups. The names are in the middle. So if you forget what you name something. Now what I did instead of while one equals one, I said while sensor value bump equals zero. So until I hit the bump switch, run the program. But as soon as I hit the bump switch, stop the program. So everything's still gonna be the same. Um, if the sensor, if the limit switch is one, if I press the limit switch, turn the LED off, start the right and center motor, stop the left motor. But if the limit switch is zero, run the left motor and turn the LED on. And then as I said, there's some closing squiggly brackets. That's usually a, a big thing in code. Uh, if you mess that up, the, it'll tell you. That's one of the big compiler errors. Missing bracket or extra bracket found because you forgot to put one in. So you gotta open and close with brackets, the squiggly brackets. So again, you compile, download the robot, you start it, and again, that's gonna go because this is zero. Now it's a one which shuts it off, turns the other motors on, zero, that, that, that. But, turns it off. So again, you're gonna wanna unplug from the computer, turn off, turn on, and now it runs the last program that was in it. So it's turning the left one, because you can't do a dragster with a computer hooked up to your robot. Limit switch, let go. Let it switch. Let go. Sorry, you can't see the LED. Yep, still can't see the LED. Let me switch and turn it off. Ta-da! Programming is pretty much endless. All the possibilities you can tweak and play with. All the interchanging things and variety of things, the variables, counts. Uh, that's it. Goes on forever. But that's also the fun of it. You can make anything happen.